Okay. Is it off or on? We'll turn it off. Hello, youth entrepreneurs. Here with Nate with Caleb. I'm running a booth here at the Old Settlers Day. Nate, can you tell me why you chose this location? Yeah, yeah. Nate Giortano, we love Caleb, man. <laughs> Thanks. You're the best. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is, uh, we do a lot of citywide festivals. This is one of the biggest ones in Johnson County. And, you know, we're partnering with Mission Southside, um, you know, because they're local here, collecting canned goods. They uh, they help feed kids after school with back snacks program, kind of like Harvesters does, but just in Johnson County. So we chose this because it's, uh, you know, back to school, big time of year, and a lot of people coming here. Uh, you know, a lot of our listeners around here, we've been coming here many years. So that's why we get such a good location. We're right, kind of right in the center of it. Okay. Can you tell me how you chose this spot to, to set up wise? Was there a reason you're looking for like this spot right here on the sidewalk? We kind of just wanted the most traffic, you know, so we can connect with as many people as possible. People coming from this way and this way. We're kind of right in the middle of the square. So. Okay. Also, I noticed you're playing music in the background. Does that help draw people to your booth? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we're commercial free radio and, you know, our product is our music. And so we're connecting with our listeners when they hear our music, they come to our booth. So we got it kind of in the background, what we're doing. So Okay. Well, thank you, Nate, very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Thank you very much. So here we have, they're, they're playing music to attract their customers as well. Now, they're not selling anything, but their product, uh, they're, they're getting the promotion out as well. So it's one of the things to think about is, what extra tools could you use to grab people to your booth? Youth entrepreneurs, we're here with, with Chris, and he's selling a unique product here. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about why you chose this product to sell? Uh, well, it's a good fundraiser for the pack. Uh, I mean, it's a good food, homemade. Uh, fresh squeezed lemonade, limeades, homemade sausage. So just a really good product, really good quality. Okay. One of the, I see if you can look over here, uh, youth entrepreneurs, we see quite a bit of action going on here. We're behind the scenes here. So can you tell me why you chose this prices to sell for these items here? Uh, it's up to the vendor that we contracted, we partnered with as a nonprofit. Uh, they, uh, he sets the price points based on his cost and everything. And uh, so what knows us, because he does it for a living. Uh, the guy that we partner with, and uh, but for old settlers, you have to be with a nonprofit, so he splits his proceeds with us. Ah, so part of the promotion, why would somebody want to come to this booth? As you said, part of the proceeds go somewhere else. Can you tell me where it's going? I'm not sure what his company's name is. <laughs> but can you tell me where the, some of the money is going? He said it's, it's a nonprofit, so it's benefiting somebody. Who's that it's going, going to? Going to Pack 3808 in Olathe. Or we're out of the Clearwater Creek. Um, it used to be chartered with the VFW before they closed down here just recently, but uh, they are out of Clearwater Creek Elementary, West Olathe, and it, all the money goes to the boys to help for pay for camping and for their books and most of their awards, and so it keeps them from having to do fundraisers all throughout the year, the little fundraisers and everything. It's just been a really good, a really good product. A wonderful. So you think maybe some people are choosing to come dine here or buy their products because it helps benefit the Boy Scouts, is that right? Yes, they definitely do. We That's tell them it's for the Cub Scouts, and they definitely, they definitely enjoy and know that they that's where a lot of the money's going to. I want to Thank you, Chris, for that. I really appreciate your time on that one. Thank you very much. You. So youth entrepreneurs here, we have another example of how the proceeds are benefiting somebody else. So one thing to think about is, is your product or your market, the people you choose to work with, do people want to shop there because they, they believe in what you guys have done or activities you're involved in? This is another good idea of a fresh lemonade and Italian sausages. Good, keep, keep the questions coming, guys. Hi guys here. What is going on next week? We have some roasted corn here. We have Kelly Murphy here to tell us a little about why they chose this product here. Kelly, so can you tell me why you chose to use the roasted corn? It's unique to our area and it's very popular like in southern Texas, um, California, Mexico, and Hawaii. And once people try it, they love it. <laughs> uh, so when you're, when you're making this product, how did you choose what price to sell it at? That was a really tough thing. Um, well, other people are selling like straight butter corn for like um how much we're back here with this business it was so popular i had to go away now i'm coming back now i'm talking with dale who's the owner of this equipment here dale can you tell me why this is so popular i think it's because it's the sweet corn i'm not real sure one thing it's the only thing in the greater kansas city area right now that cooks sweet corn ah so it's very exclusive okay so are you selling a lot of them oh yeah we'll do uh, we've already cooked 30 cases for this weekend i got another 30 to go today Oh my goodness. Can you tell me a goal? Is there a goal of amount of products you're looking to sell this weekend? I'm looking to sell on 2,000 years of corn. 2,000? That's a lot of corn. Yeah. That's a lot of corn. 2,000 years of corn and 800, 800 road speeches. Wow. You said earlier you had uh, turkey ribs. Turkey can you tell me about that? What was the question? Can you tell me a little about how did you come across a turkey rib? Uh, in a bar. <laughs> i got to be honest, and I don't go to bars, but a friend of mine was there and he said, tell me about it. And I went and researched it and found out where to get them, and that's where we got them. They come out of uh, uh, Pennsylvania. I have a plant up there, and uh, 
We just started playing with them two years ago, and they just we sell a case a week, just about it. And whenever we go, we sell about a case. This show will sell more than I thought. So. Okay, but your most popular product is, is probably the corn. You look the, Amer the Mexican corn and the regular corn. Okay, how did you choose the price to sell them at? Well, you got to go figure what your profit margin is going to be. I always try to maintain an 85% markup. So uh, you have to look at that. So luckily with sweet corn, the, the price is always pretty reasonable. It's not hard to get to the 85% markup. Whereas you take the guys across the street with the ribs, they got a, they, they're a, lot, a tighter margin than what I have. My food costs are far, far less than what these guys are across the street. Okay. And can you tell me, why did you choose this location to set up right here? Got signed here. Oh, you got a signed here. So you didn't get to choose it, huh? Oh, no. No, we don't get it. These shows, you get to go where they want you to go. So luckily, this is a good location for us. Is there anything you're doing to kind of draw a crowd in here? Just letting people walk up and down holding that sweet corn. Ah, Best so you can walk around with the product and people looking oh, yeah. at it and loving it. Best advertising you can have. <laughs> I like people do you see walking around carrying a rib? Not very many. I see a lot of corn walking around here. So, so that's, that's, that's the markup right there. They, they carry the corn, somebody asked for it. There's our line. Now, what are they doing over here? They're brushing it with something. That's yeah, making Mexican corn elote. They're taking the corn, coating it with mayonnaise, then they put cojita cheese on top of that. And then we give it over to the client. They can put a Mexican seasoning on it, Cajun powder. Uh, they can make it. They can make it so hot. I got a product over there that makes it so hot that it burns your mouth. Oh, and it's, <laughs> oh and wow! They, and they use it. It, it goes. It goes. Yeah. My goodness. Well, thank you for your time. I know you're real busy. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. So, you thought, friends, we have a we have a product here that is very unique. It's hard to get a hold of. The way they're marketing it is walking around. People are seeing this. That might be a good idea. Is your product going to be unique that people want to try it, or is it going to be too unique they may not want to try it? Keep that in mind, you entrepreneurs. When you're looking at your market day. Boy, look at this crowd here. Smells are coming from all over the place. This looks good over here. We got a grill going. There's quite the line, though. My God.